Hi guys and welcome to another video, short one and exciting, uh, be, uh, I hope, video. Uh, today we're going to be talking sensors. Sensors um, in terms of uh, getting input data and reading data from um, Commodore 64 joystick board uh, 1 and um, handling those uh, data uh, in order to get uh, at first uh, uh, temperature um, a very simple, very nice uh, experiment um, and um, the second one will be uh, the same, pretty much the same, but with um, uh, light sensor to get the uh, level of light uh, within the uh, several areas, the room or uh, uh, outside or whatever. And so, the quickly moving to the construction uh, we need a female uh, D9 uh, sub um, plug and we're gonna be using one mega ohm uh, resistor um, to be soldered onto pin 7 and 9 and in parallel connection to this we're gonna be putting the um, cable uh, of course it is better to put it in a plastic uh, case um, just because it's easier and uh, more safe uh, easier to handle and more safe and um, in parallel with the resistor we're going to be placing those two wires and that is all for our interface and I think this is a better way to depict this uh, so it's a simple connection 7, 9 points to uh, the resistor from the resistor to our thermistor or the light sensor or whatever sensor is there to be used and the idea came um, originally from uh, actually all credits to the Nostalgia Nerd I have uh, watched his video um, doing very same thing and so he turned his uh, Commodore 64 to um, uh, temperature uh, reading uh, machine uh, but we're gonna go through the second experiment now as it was presented in a book experiments with your computer back uh, from uh, 1985 and that will be the light sensor as well but first let's uh, begin with um, um, temperature reader and so here is our uh, interface a simple interface joystick port 1 of our beloved Commodore 64 um, one end um, on, in the port and the other end uh, soldered uh, both um, points onto the thermistor and we got a funny reading um, I have modified the code a bit so we can get only um, the latest information instead of uh, the whole queue of um, inputs um, and so yeah this little thermistor can uh, range from minus 15 supposedly to uh, um, 125 celsius so it's good enough and as I'm touching it it raises you can see 22, 23, 24 now so I guess it's working but with this uh, funny interruptions I don't know why maybe I, I need to unplug it and then I have to reset the computer to reset the port uh, luckily I got the code on disk so it won't take long uh, but yeah I was relying on the um, nostalgia nerds uh, screen to um, read the code all the time and uh, type it uh, for myself because I don't have the book uh, which is a um, uh, fine book and if you ask me uh, if I ever find it around eBay I'm going to I'm going to buy it, uh, meant uh, for kids back in 85, but uh, not limited to, as you can tell. Um, so, um, we're going to be doing also the same thing with another interface for the level of light. Uh, actually, these values are coming in um, through the port, uh, looking at the specific um, peaking, uh, some specific uh, memory location. Uh, let me show you the listing here uh, and we have to play around with K1, K2 uh, values of those variables in order to calibrate um, so that the um, um, what is called the in, uh, integer under a variable T is understandable and matches uh, the real uh, room temperature uh, so we have the, the best readings um, so yeah, uh, let me just 
try to reset the whole thing and I'll be back pro uh, hopefully with a stable uh, reading and so we have it now uh, it's okay now so we have 22 degrees Celsius inside the room uh, steadily on our screen uh, I think it's a very simple construction uh, very interesting just a couple of soldering uh, points um, and then you can do many things you can uh, do it inside the PCB underside of the PCB getting the reading from inside the Commodore and then you can somehow place this inside <laughs> somewhere uh, and get uh, running the program it will give you um, the temperature inside your Commodore uh, at all times isn't that great or you can uh, build a longer cable and you can uh, hang it outside your window get uh, the outside temperature um, and you can uh, then I don't know put it in a graph over time and then you can see how this works a whole day through uh, you can do many things you can put it uh, in ice to get the lowest reading and calibrate or recalibrate your thermistor or you can um, uh, pretty oops close to um, a lighter so you can see how it raises and then you can uh, recalibrate again and get the final best reading uh, for uh, up and down the scale I think uh, one of the um, uh, things that you can do and it's really interesting is to place it inside the Commodore and uh, just by running this pro little program can give you in real time the temperature of inside of the machine which is pretty neat um, a nice thing to do uh, but uh, this is uh, up to you to come up with new ideas whatever you want to do with this temperature reader in real time um, uh, taking advantage of the analog port and simple interface you can build uh, within five minutes and the, yeah the sky's the limit um, uh, the, you can of course uh, modify the code uh, and, and put some um, uh, whatever things you need to show uh, to indicate um, this is the, the basic source code as you can see the, the core uh, the main part is just 10 lines of code I have inserted this uh, uh, CLS uh, clear screen on line 30 by myself in order not to give uh, this whole long queue of results but rather to overwrite the uh, reading um, and gives us only in real time the final reading we can of course change the background color the ink uh, color or whatever um, to give high contrast or other things uh, I like something that popped up in my mind I'm gonna show you in a while um, just to make the uh, uh, this piece of software a bit more friendly uh, but for now let's move to the second uh, interface which is identical or pretty much the same uh, one meg uh, resistor points uh, pins uh, 7 and 9 um, and from there in parallel we have uh, the cable to be connected those two um, uh, contacts onto um, a photo resistor uh, this time a fo photo or um, it's still a resistor but uh, it's a light sensitive resistor actually based on the same principle like the resistance varies and um, the same as the thermistor and can be uh, fed through the uh, joystick port and then can be translated to uh, whatever we want to measure either light or temperature uh, so let's move um, along with this uh, second um, interface and start um, uh, as the assembly of this uh, and then we can test it the same uh, uh, D-sub same connections follow the same uh, uh, diagram and there you go we have a uh, light level uh, indication reading from the uh, photoresistor uh, here as I'm moving it towards the light the value is changing or away from the light and it keeps changing as I'm moving the sensor around the area uh, less light more light um, uh, 
I believe now it's you can see I'm moving towards the light or away from the light so you can see the reading changes on the screen on the right side you can see my other computer stuck on the nostalgia nerds uh, page thanks nerd for the initial idea and all your guidance and a great video by the way uh, impressive and uh, inspiring to me uh, so yeah it works fine just uh, reading the um, light level in the room and uh, now I'm hiding the light uh, from the sensor it goes to minus 5 so this gives me the idea that uh, minus 5 is minimum and so I try to disconnect as I'm disconnecting now the interface and it keeps uh, saying it's minus 5 so I guess that's the um, lowest or the part that it can show you that the uh, interface is not connected at all and so this gives me another idea the one uh, I've been telling you before is to detect um, either if the uh, interface is connected or not so just a couple of more lines onto this uh, listing um, you can see now we have a reading for the light level and it says the sensor has been detected on port 1 and I'm trying now to disconnect yeah the uh, device and it says the device is not connected not detected so it's uh, rather simple uh, what we get from variable T um, which holds the reading the the input um, from the uh, memory location um, as it gets in from the interface um, it can oh, let me show you um, it's on uh, integer t what we get on the screen right uh, that's the value so if this variable is minus 5 somehow uh, during uh, the run then I print not detected this means the device has been disconnected but if it's different than minus 5 then the device is connected giving us the right reading simple two lines of code to indicate either if the uh, uh, whether the uh, interface uh, is connected or not you can play around you can do things and as you can see I switched to the uh, original uh, screen and colors um, again think uh, uh, give yourself this chance of uh, getting a graph to indicate the uh, the graphical way the changes of the light um, uh, environment uh, the level of the light in your environment or the temperature or whatever you can think of just just a hint here and yet uh, another tip maybe you want to use this transparent kind of tube to protect the sensors uh, to protect the photo resistor the thermistor um, like this putting it in transparent um, kind of plastic tube uh, to make it water resistant, wind resistant, or whatever, if you plan to use uh, to use it somehow outside your window, outside ho your house, uh, for any reason, this uh, will protect it from short, from humidity, from wind or other uh, elements. So yeah, you, you can do whatever uh, you think of. Take outside uh, temperature, um, light uh, level. Uh, inside uh, you name it just de depending on the length of the cables and so I hope you liked it um, I really hope you enjoyed it uh, uh, it has been a pleasure another uh, great um, analog project for me using my Commodore 64 and uh, as I was reading uh, about this um, several pages um, from the past over the internet uh, someone came up with the idea to build the same very same interface back in the 80s again connected to his Commodore 64 in order to uh, check the uh, level of liquids whatever liquids in can be in his case was a water tank outside the house and so you can understand the uh, analog port is flexible uh, based on uh, analog readings from sensitive devices like those 
two sensors we have presented here today uh, but not limited to that uh, you can you can get readings from the outside world um, you can think of things like putting as I said the thermistor inside your Commodore and do the soldering underneath the PCB so it's steadily uh, there so by just running the temperature program you can uh, get the reading in real time the uh, temperature reading from inside your machine I'm just saying um, I'm sorry I don't have the book so I have to uh, give you just this listing um, on the screen for you to type and you can of course twist it around play around with it put the um, portion of the code like uh, we have seen for the detection of the interface if it is connected or not or you can do a graphical, as I said, uh, representation of the values and how this goes over time, over let's say um, six hours window or a whole day window uh, to get the readings for this uh, whole day. Um, and uh, of course, do not forget to share. Do not forget to comment. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, you can see the um, interface again both things uh, we have built today are pretty much the same or exactly the same apart from the sensor part the one that carries the thermistor to get the readings for temperature and the other interface holds the light sensor uh, or light resistor in any case the principle is the same whatever um, res resistance varies can be translated to um, Celsius or level um, uh, of uh, the light we can understand like a percentage of light um, in this case or temperature or whatever uh, you can think of so very uh, simple uh, construction uh, very clever I believe very interesting just a couple of um, doesn't require any skills uh, in soldering uh, I believe just a couple of um, points to get solder uh, onto the side of the um, uh, D9 sub and a couple of uh, points to be soldered onto the other side where the, uh, the sensor is so that was for uh, today thank you very much for watching bye